Good morning and top of the morning to you again. We are talking about a disease that definitely is affecting many and we, we from day to day don't really understand what happens. We think that it affects older people. I'm talking about multiple sclerosis. And it's a chronic, often disabling disease that attacks the central nervous system. The progress, the severity, and the specific symptoms are unpredictable and they actually vary from one person to another. And I'm excited this morning that I actually have a young man who this disease actually affected, but he has come on the show this morning to share his story. I'm talking about none other than Julian Nelson. Good morning, Julian. How are you this morning. I'm doing good, well. good, How good. Are you? I'm doing good this morning. I find your story to be so fascinating because Julian, share with everyone out there exactly how old are you? I'm actually 28 now. 28 years old and you're battling with multiple sclerosis? I've actually been battling with it for several years now. Okay, I tell, was, tell us a little bit about your journey. Sure, I was diagnosed uh, in 2007. I actually remember the exact time I was diagnosed because it's a moment in time that you, you'll you never forget. Okay. Um, <clears throat> it what led me to actually being diagnosed to going into the doctor to even be tested for it was a loss of vision in my left eye. Okay. Actually, I didn't know I had a loss of vision. It was just a routine eye check. But um, So you had no clue. It wasn't like everything blacked out because I think people no. need to understand this. So it wasn't like nothing blacked out. No. It was just a moment that it was just a routine eye exam, a year, my yearly eye exam that uh, the my uh, my doctor noticed a decrease in my vision in my left eye. Now, let's go back for a moment because I need people to understand out there, you actually were an honor student at Manning High School. <laughs> you were on your way into college. You were doing things. You were living life. How has Very that changed so. since that time? Uh, things have come to, uh, I, I don't want to say a complete stop, okay. but certainly dreams have been deferred, okay. um, have to be pushed back because this is a disease that takes over. It controls life as a whole, and it's hard to get past that, especially to continue work and continue going to school. And many people that have this disease, they don't, uh, they have trouble getting past that point. Getting past that point. But you know what I think is so wonderful is that you're actually channeling that cause. And so you're doing something good. You're letting people know you're not sitting around and just saying, woe is me. But you're saying, you know what, I have it, but I need to deal with it. And so you're taking up a cause on Saturday. Tell us a little bit about this event that you have going on on Saturday. Well, this is a... It, the event itself is uh, geared, like you said, around multiple sclerosis. Okay. Um, one of the things that I've noticed through the years as I've battled this disease is that there's so many people that are truly unaware of what's going on, okay. uh, truly unaware of what the disease itself is okay. and how it affects people. Okay. So this is my opportunity. This is my chance to as to help a, uh, inform people okay. in large make masses, them aware. <laughs> make them aware, awareness. create Definitely. awareness, and get them uh, informed. So you're going to be creating an awareness, and we're going to do this through a basketball game, that I understand? That is right. It's okay. an alumni uh, basketball challenge between two rival schools, Manning High School and Scotts Branch And we High know that Manning High School has always had a tradition of bringing home state championships. Oh, yeah. So you want to bring do. back some state championship people? Oh, we will. Okay. We will. And this is going to be on Saturday. What time Saturday? Uh, it will be Saturday the 17th, starting at 7. PM. And where's it going to be at? It'll be right there at Manning High. At Manning, Manning High, High School, School Gym. Okay, so Manning High School Gymnasium, and it's going to feature celebrity people. Now, we're also going to have some um, entertainment that will be we, going on We will have time. some local artists okay. that will come out and perform uh, okay. during halftime. And what about the cost? What is the cost so our viewers are knowing they'll the be The cost is, we try to keep it low to help bring more people in. It, it's not a money-making venture, so the cost to, for adults is only about $5. Okay. It's only $5. Okay. For children under the age of 12, it's only $1. Okay, so we definitely have a great cause going on to support the people and to make things happen happen. And Julian, Indeed. I'm so glad that you came. One last thing I want you, if you sure. could tell people out there right now who are having symptoms and don't know what to do, young people who have a disease, whether it's multiple sclerosis or any other thing, what do you want to say out there to them just to encourage them for the next 10 seconds real um, quick? Let them know. Just, uh, just to say it uh, out loud, you're not alone. And that's what we're here about. You're not alone. We're trying our best to inform as many people as possible so that there is no stigmatism right. related to this anymore. Right. It is a disease that affects us, but it doesn't control us. Okay. We can keep moving in spite of. I love it. And yes, we can keep moving. Julian, thank you so much for thank coming you, on this morning. Thank you, sir, for having us on. Listen, go out there, support, let's help, let's enjoy this event that's going to be taking place on Saturday in Manning, South Carolina.